Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Kevin. We start promptly in five minutes. Five minutes start time here at Online Trader Central. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Your host and presenter, Melissa Armour, is here with us today. We started promptly in just five minutes. Five minutes start time, everyone. Thank you and welcome. We'll start promptly in just three minutes. Three minutes start time here at Online Trader Central. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. And welcome. And at the sound of the trumpet, that means it is time to begin. We would like to ask you to please put your hands together and welcome our host presenter today from thestockswish.com. Please welcome the founder and head trader of thestockswish.com. Thank you, Kevin and Karen. Thank you, everyone at Online Trader Central. 
Welcome, my name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. As Kevin said, I, I trade, I'm, I'm a trader, and I own my own company as well. And today I'm here to talk to you about the strategy that I personally trade, and I focus every single day when I trade on getting the right pick, getting the right stock. I trade the U.S. stock market. And really, I figured out a long time ago when I started trading when I began about six years ago at the end of 2008, that it's really about getting the right pick every day in order to make money successfully in the market. And if you can do that, then it's actually easy to trade. And you either get up in the morning and you have the right pick or you don't, and then you don't trade. So we're going to talk more about this in a little bit today. If you'd like more information, you can email me. Karen also has my information in the room. You can just email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Skype, and like me at any one of these places. Or you can call me as well if you have any specific questions about trading or the strategy that I'm going to talk about today. So let's get at it here. It is about the pick. Maybe you're one of these people that want to trade the market, but you have no idea what to trade every day. Maybe you trade now, but you struggle every day trying to pick what to trade. In other words, you do trade. You like to trade. You want to do it full time, but every day you don't know what to focus on. And there's so many stocks that exist in the, trade, in the stock market every day. You don't know which one to trade. Maybe you've also been trading for years and have no idea why some picks work and some don't. We're going to talk about this today, too. And, and really, ultimately, it's about consistency. You want to do this if you want to do it, whether you're doing it part-time, full-time, or even just for extra money. You want to be consistent in your trading methodology. And I learned a long time ago, as I said earlier, that it's all about the pick. Making money in the market as a trader is about the pick or picks, because there could be more than one pick on any given day, okay? People with a small amount of money can actually make it as a trader if they have the right pick. Why? Because their level of success, or their percentage of success is heightened or higher if they know how to focus on what to trade. Therefore, people with a small account can actually do very well in the market. In other words, you don't have to have a lot of money to do well. It is about what you are trading, okay? And people with a lot of money can lose if they have no idea what to trade or in what direction. So I get, I get this from a lot of people. They say, well, I don't have enough money to trade. I don't have enough money to trade. I don't have enough money. But that's not true. If you have a high percentage of odds of success in what you're trading and you have a small account, you can do well. And lo and behold, a small account can grow. I know because I did this once a long time ago. And actually, I've, I said this, I've told this story before in the trading room. I'll just quickly tell you this. Uh, a broker had given me an account with $2,000 in it. $2,000. I had no wiggle room whatsoever to trade. And uh, he wanted to see if I could do it, if I could take a $2,000 account and make it profitable. Uh, and I did. Okay. That's a small amount of money to trade the way that I trade in the stock market. And I did it. Why? Because I don't lose that often. Okay. Why do I not lose that often? Because the quality of my picks are very high. So having a big account doesn't necessarily equal profitability or market success. A big account just means you can risk more. And obviously, I'm at this point in my trading now, but if you're starting out, you can still do it with a small account. You just can risk more with a bigger account. And, and I know that everyone loves to do that, and we will look at some examples today, but you have to work with the amount of money that you have, okay, if you really want to do this. You have to start at point A to get to B. I found that a lot of people want to risk more money than they can withstand, and then they end up getting discouraged. You can do this if you have the right mindset and the right direction and the right focus. But you do have to be realistic with the amount of money that you have to risk. But the point is you can still take that amount of money and make it more by being profitable in the market. So how do you get the right pick consistently and how do you get it in the right direction? It's about differentiating yourself from the rest of the people that are trading the market. I've done this. In fact, I've built a whole business around this. I only do the one strategy that we're going to discuss today, which is gaps. That's all that I do. And actually, I only even do it myself in one direction. Now, I can do them in both directions. Occasionally, I do. But I like to short, okay? I mostly go short. So I have differentiated myself. This is me. Uh, in a sea of people that are attempting to trade the market unsuccessfully, uh, because of the way that I niche down every single morning and hone into what I'm choosing to pick every day and trade it. So with the right pick, a trader can profit regularly. Now, there will maybe be days that you don't get any good picks. Then you don't trade that day. Again, this is about discipline and focus. So I have a way to get the pick every single day, and this is what we're going to talk about. Briefly, I'm going to explain to you what I do is 
something like this bar right here. This is a stock which was RAC. So this was back about a week or so ago. And a stock gap down. Now, I'm going to just review this for people that don't know what a gap is. A stock gaps when the opening price from the previous day's close is different from the next day in the morning. So this stock racks closed up here at 4 o'clock Eastern time around 39 something. And in the next morning at 9.30 when the stock market opened, it opened around 33 something. So the stock gap. Now I had to find and search and scan to pick this. And then I have a method to qualify to determine that this is a good one. That I would want to do this as a trade on the day. And not only that, what direction do you do it? Do you go long it or short it? I'm sure a lot of people were going, wanted to go long racks on this day because the stock gapped into the 50 period moving average here actually in the morning. Uh, but, and it gapped down to support. But I rated the gap for my system and saw that in fact it was going to turn out to be a good pick to short. Now, the way that I pick them is I use a checklist, okay? So first I get up in the morning and I go through the stocks that are gapping. And you have to find them on a scanner on your platform. And then I go through my checklist and I just rate each one. Then I tally the total. And then that's how I determine to get the pick or the highest quality pick. Using a method and a checklist is a very professional way to trade. There are people that are training the market, that are professionals, that are making millions of dollars, and they have a method that they use. They have a method that they use every day, and they probably only, most of them, do one or two strategies. Me, I only do one. It's all that I need to be profitable. I think you can do more than one thing if you're profitable at least one, but I don't think it's a good idea to flip from thing to thing to thing if you're not profitable at least one strategy, because then again, you're getting away from the focus. It's all about honing it down with the focus of what you're doing. So the reason that my checklist helps you, and the reason that it is useful it helps you to pick a stock that has a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, meaning whether it's a long or a short. You want the probability of the directional bias, okay? Directional bias meaning up or down. A big move on the day, because that's how you get paid as a trader, you want to trade something that has a momentum move, a dollar or more typically in a stock. You also want early confirmation of the directional bias in the move. Why? Because typically stocks have the most potential to set up between 9.30 and 10 in the morning. And anything after 10 o'clock is going to have larger stops and also may have had a most or half or more of the percentage of the move of the bar, of the daily bar of the day the stock has already had after 10. And I want to get in it early because I don't want to miss that move, that momentum, which we're going to see in some of the setups. You're also looking for the checklist to help you with precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. And that's how you make money as a trader. Now, what normally occurs when you get up in the morning and you're getting ready to trade? And I'm talking about day trading here or even swing trading, actually. On most given days of the 200 plus trading days in a year, many stocks don't have any particular strategy setting up in them. This is true. This is true. This is 100% true. And many people think it's not. Listen to what I'm saying. Even if you attempt to trend train the same stock, let's just say you like Apple. You want to trade Apple every day. You're trend trading it. You're intraday trend trading every day or so you think. You may not get paid with profitable entries and exits consistently. They're going to vary. Even the entries are going to vary. Even the exits are going to vary. The way the stock actually acts, okay, the price, the way the price acts on the day every day is not going to be the same consistently with the entries and the exits you would take. Okay, why? Because a, a stocks most days don't have any play in them. Even if you try to trend trade them, you're not going to get it right if you don't get it with the market. And if something specific is happening in that stock, a downgrade, new something else, then you may not get anything right when you were looking to trend trade it because it might actually be against the overall trend of the stock on that day if something's happening with it or the market. Okay. So then it's very hard to get the right entry and the right exit. In other words, you may have to take the trade one, two, three times, or you may take it in one direction and flip it in the other direction. And if you're trading, you know exactly what I mean. And for people that have never traded before, you don't, may not know what I'm talking about. But if you have traded before, you know what I mean here. And that's why it's very important to actually have something you're looking to do every day in reference to the strategy. And for me, it's the gaps and the rating system I have. Because even if you like a stock, you really can't trade it every day, that same symbol. You're not going to get the same level of consistency. Here's an example here of Netflix. And I'm just picking this chart because I love Netflix. Netflix isn't an uptrend. Netflix is a beast. It's a monster in this market. Netflix is a long. But if you try to go long Netflix today, you didn't make any money. 
as a day trade, okay? And actually, you had a tough time trying to go long Netflix in the last week and a half, two weeks, okay? But Netflix is a long. So trend trading a stock, you're supposed to be going long. Otherwise, what do you do? There's nothing to do in here, okay? There's no other strategy to do in Netflix at all in here. Netflix is a long, but if you try to go long the stock and trend trade in the last two weeks, you're down, okay? There's nothing to do in this stock. Actually, there hasn't been anything to do in this stock for about two months or so or longer. So that's how it normally is. I actually look for something different every day. My pick, getting my daily pick, it's different every day. Every day I trade a different symbol, okay? I'm not married to any one stock. Again, it's extremely important because my only objective when I get up every day is to pick the right stock to make money. I'm not married to some of these stocks. Uh, and some traders tend to get married to these stocks that they're in love with and things that they do with them, trades that they taken them and they don't give it up on them and they should just walk away and look for something to do on that given day. It's really all about consistency. So knowing this, how can one person be successful day trading for consistent profit? Again, getting the right pick, getting the right pick, getting the right pick, getting the right pick every day. And that's going to mean a different stock to trade every day. There's a difference between predicting though and guessing. And I want to be very clear on that because many people, actually many people right now, are saying the market's going to have a correction, it's going to come in and all of this. And I know the market traded down today, and that's true, it did trade down today in the last two days. But people are guessing that this is a top for the market, a short-term or long-term top for the market, and the market's going to have a big correction. That's a guess. That's a guess that people are making. What I do when I get up in the morning and I look at my gaps, I look at the stock gapping, I'm seeing what it's, where it's gapping. I'm seeing it live. I'm not actually guessing it's going to do something. I'm seeing it at this price. And I'm predicting that at this price on the live day into the open at 930, the stock is going to go in this direction and go right here. And I actually have the targets. And I'm able to pick what those targets are with a high level of precision, I might add. So I'm predicting what it's going to do with the information I have at hand, which is live right now, this second, okay? I'm trading on a one-minute chart between 9.30 and 10. I'm not guessing what somebody's going to do later. I'm predicting what it is going to do the next minute, the next five minutes, the next 10 minutes, 15 minutes from now to the target and I'm out, okay? So the, if you can hone down the shorter, smaller time frame you can predict something's going to do, actually the easier it is to make money to take the trade and to exit it, all right? But again, this is something that you have to learn how to do in getting the right pick. The reason that my method works to find the pick is because it reads power money for the pick. What's happening with the money? Where is the money moving? That's another reason why this market really isn't doing, going to do any kind of correction because the money isn't really flowing out of the market right now. So I'm reading the power money in positioned in these stocks. And that's how I do it with the method that I have. I'm just taking... 100% focus on one strategy and one method that you can trade daily, teaches you how to read market direction, and it's a very systematic approach. It pinpoints the right stock to play every day, and it really just uses common sense. It uses common sense in trying to look for the right direction to trade the stock, because I'm looking at so many things on the chart to determine what it's going to do in the day, that it's just a common sense method to say, oh, this stock is doing this. Here I have look at this point, that point, this point, that point, I tally them up. And if they total 20 points or more per my 26-point rating system, then I trade the stock. And I know what direction to do it. Instead of second-guessing myself, is racks a long, is racks a short, is racks a long, is racks a short, and then you're going long, it, you're going short, short it, and you're doing 50 different things. Instead, I'm saying, oh, here it is, it rates good, boop, we're doing it. And I know what I'm looking for, okay? Again, the focus. I'm also focusing on these setups very early in the morning between 9.30 and 10 to get profitable setups before the stock really moves on the day, okay? So the strategy I termed it, I called it golden gaps. This is a clip of Adobe, and we're going to talk about Adobe, which gapped down last week, okay? Along with the same day as Rax. It's just a focus on the checklist that tells me what to do for the pick. The purpose of it is to analyze the daily chart of a stock, of any stock, or even the market. This is how I know how to read what's going on in the market, too. I'm analyzing a large time frame, which is a daily chart to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap on the intraday, on the live day, okay? This is a trend decision how to go uh, long or short on the day as a day trader. All large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders. This is true. And they look at them on larger time frames like the daily chart. 
But the beauty about my system is that I make entry decisions and exit decisions on that one minute chart. And I have a high degree of focus in doing that for a level of accuracy. So using the daily chart to make the decision for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the right direction. And using the one minute chart allows for good risk reward trades with accuracy. So it's a combination of everything together. Why? Because the purpose is to win. The purpose is to win. I think a lot of people go into the market with the goal and the achievement of making money. And somewhere along the line, people lose this. And then they start to fight with themselves and fight with the market. And then they become and have this defeatist mentality where they're actually losing and they never get anywhere with it. And they forget what they were supposed to be doing it for in the first place. The purpose of trading is to win. It's to make money. You have to trade to win. Trading is about generating income. And if you're not making the money in the market doing something that you've been doing for a long time, then you need to stop and reflect and take a check on yourself and maybe change your approach. If you're trading the same stock every day, I, you have no strategy at all. You can't even say you're trend trading it, okay? So you have to think about what you're doing when you're trading because the idea is to win. And people say, well, so many traders don't make money in the market. That's because they lose sight of really their goal and why they're doing this in the first place. They talk about money. They're possessed and obsessed with money, but they really don't have sight of the true, true goal when they get up in the morning to sit down to trade, and they're not focused enough to do it because it is possible you can do this. Not only do I know you can do it because I'm doing it myself, I know you can do it because I'm teaching people to do it as well. So trading golden gaps offers traders visible income production. You have to trade something you can replicate in the market over and over. You need a strategy you could do the 200 plus trading days of markets open a year. Golden gaps are a highly profitable strategy to trade and you can make money to pay your bills live a full life, which means not working 50, 60 hours a week. That's what I mean by living a full life. I trade in the morning. I'm done every day by 11 o'clock. Okay. I'm done every day by 11 o'clock. And that allows the person to have a very full life. You can do other things with your time. So it's all about the right focus. This applies to many, many careers. Again, common sense. Common sense is to have a focus, not to not have a focus. Common sense is to have a focus in one stock, in one direction, and one strategy each and every day you trade. That's common sense. It applies to many different careers, but again, people forget that trading can be a career and is a career and really should still be looked at as a career even if you're doing it on the side because you need to take it that seriously to be able to be profitable in it. Now we're going to look at this one day it was last week. It was September 17th. There actually were a few gaps that happened on this day, and you could have played them all. They were all golden gaps. You could have done all four of the golden gaps, rated them in the morning. They were all top picks. You could have done every one on the day, and we're going to go over the trades. And in one day, when we're done here, with an advanced risk, you would have made 4.9 on average, dollar for dollar, of what you made in money, meaning if you risked a dollar, you would have made $4.90 on every dollar that you risk. And so if you risked an advanced risk, I'm going to show you the trades here, and then we're going to look at it at the end of the, at the, when we're done with all the ones. But if you took an advanced risk and did every single gap on that day that I rated and said was going to work, you would have made over $12,000 as an advanced risk. You wouldn't have to even trade the rest of the week. In fact, I did not trade on Friday. I, did, I didn't trade on Friday. I said, I said, if I don't see something perfect today, I'm not doing anything. I, you know, I mean, you have to be able to make money when you get these beautiful picks, and some days you won't then, okay? But I really know how to hone and find the right ones. And let's go over it. One stock here that was the top pick was OI. This actually was the top pick for many, many reasons. But I want to point out the length of the bar on the day here. The stock actually opened up here a little bit over $30 and closed on the day at 28 something. It was crazy, the move that the stock had. But this is exactly what stocks can do when they have momentum. Here you see the beginning of the day here. This is between 9.30 and 10, okay? You see the beginning part of the day here of the chart. This is actually a five-minute chart. And the stock set up and literally just fell off a planet. This is what I call institutional selling. This is a great example of a stock that gapped down, opened on the day, and, it, and just got sold off. It just got sold. It got sold and sold and sold and sold and sold and sold and sold. And went down to really what would have been the dream target on the day. Price of the entry on this was $29.85. This isn't even aggressive, by the way. If you took an advanced risk of $600, you could have taken 3,000 shares. 
Exit is 28.80. Again, this is a target. This isn't the low of the day. Total profit was over $3,100. This is a 5.25R trade. That means for every dollar you risked, you could have made $5.25. Okay? So, here's the entry, and you just follow it through. You could have even stayed with this and lowered your stock. Now, here's the exit. The stock did actually continue down even more so. Continue another 30, 35 cents. But the later the day goes on, you want to be out of these things quickly. In reference to this, you took the early trade, and you could have gotten out of it in 30 minutes or the first hour. But as it turns out, the stock was so weak, it just continued selling all day. Beautiful trade. Again, you could have just done this one trade and had your whole day in or even your whole week. Okay, For some people, making $3,000 is a week's profit or salary. Okay, $3,000 a week equates to twelve grand a month in salary. And this is only in one trade in one day. But there was another gap that day, too. Adobe. Big stock here. A lot of people love Adobe. Take a look at this one here. Again, the stock gapped. Close the night before up here at 70 something, gap down the next day here at 68 something. Okay? And then I get up in the morning, I saw the gap. And I go through my checklist and I check it off. And I rate the gap to determine if this is going to be a long, if it's going to be a short, if it's going to do anything right in the day that we should even look at it to trade it or a top pick. As it turns out, this was a good pick too. Now, Adobe set up a little bit differently here. This is a one minute chart, open, rally. You could have taken Adobe aggressively. Entry in Adobe was 68.60. On a 4,000 share risk, you can take 4,000 shares of this now as $600 as a risk. Exit 67.25. A little bit more of an expensive of a stock. Okay? You don't have to risk $600. You can risk half this. If you took this trade and risk $600, though, you made $5,400. Nine times the amount risk made in profit. Again, this stock went even further than anticipated as well, continued even down, and made another newer area lower as well. But a beautiful trade in Adobe. Again, nice selling shorting action in this stock. It was a top pick, and it was a short. Okay? This is all on the 17th. Okay? So some days you'll get one pick. Some days you'll get a couple of picks. You get up every morning, you look for as many good picks as you can find, okay? You can play them all, you can play one, you have to at least play one. Here was another one here, this is GIS, okay? This stock gap down the night before is up here at 53.20, gap down here to $52. Again, all these charts look different. How do I know? How am I picking these ones? How do I know this is going to be good? I'm rating the gap. I have my checklist. I have my 26 points method that I rate it. None of these charts look the same. They're all different. Everyone is the same. It's not, uh, everyone is different. It's not like there's just one same thing that you can look at. You can't just say, oh, well, the stock's doing this one thing, therefore it's going to work. Or it's doing this thing and that thing, and therefore it's going to work. The, trading is about understanding what's going on in the overall gap itself, of the price action of the gap, and the price of it to determine whether or not it's going to work on the day. And it's, it's really about looking at that many things detailed to know that it's going to work right. Anyways, this had a beautiful movement on the day, more than a dollar move here, all the way down to the low, it hit 50-50-ish or thereabouts. This setup happened very quickly and early, dropped, and you could have even done an ad in it right in here, and the stock went to the target, which was 51 and beyond. It actually went past $51. But the real target was 51 so you probably would get out. Now, the original entry was up here. You took your normal risk if you risk an advanced amount of 630, but then there was a second setup. You take more, so now you can double your size in this. You cost average your price down a little bit now from 52 to 5180, but you get double the sizes. Now you have 3,600 shares. And if you do that and do it with the ad and lower your stop, your exit's 51, you can make 2880 in this trade. Again, a beautiful trade. And to be able to make this kind of money, I mean, Right now, earnings season starts in about a week, and there will be a lot of good picks, and there will be multiple good picks every single solitary day that you trade. This is the time to make money if you're a trader in the market. Risk to reward in this one was four to one. So you risk 720 with the ad, initially at 630, but then you had the ad, which was the confirmation, you risked a little bit more, and you made 2880. Beautiful trade, okay? All this is what? It's all on the same day. This is all September 17th. And then here was the racks that I talked about earlier. Another good pick. Again, looks completely different than the other ones, but you get up in the morning and you rate it. And if it rates according to the system, then you do it. 
Rax had a beautiful setup in here, rallied a little bit, stay with the trade and dropped. Another one, if you know what to look for, you know that this is a short. If you don't know what to look for, you might think this is a long. Why would you have maybe thought it was a long? Stock had a big gap down. Stock gapped into the 50 per moving average. Stock actually did a buy set up rally. Stock actually retested the high of the day in the afternoon before it broke a new low and fell off a planet. If you don't know what to do with this, if you don't know how to read this chart per my rating method, you might have bought racks on that day thinking that that was a good buy and actually it faked like it was going to go higher, but it wasn't. And the play was short, okay? And it was a nice short. Price was 33.35, risk was 1500 for 675 risk. Exit's 32.49, 12.90 was a profit on this one. Almost two hours, still a quality trade. You made over $1,000, okay? Now, if you did all of these, if you did four trades, four trades in one day, one had an at, but they were essentially four gaps, four stocks, four picks, and four trades, and that happened in one day last week, which was not even earnings season. Again, earnings season is a busy, busy time to trade uh, for everyone that day trades or swing trades. But it was all one strategy. One strategy could have had the results and gains if you did every single one of those picks. You could have made what? The profit on no ally was 3150 with an advanced risk. Profit on Adobe was 5400 with an advanced risk of 600. GIS profit was 2880, risk was 720 with the ad, and the RAX profit was 1290, risk was 675. So, it was an average risk to reward payout of 4.9. That's fantastic. And one day in four picks, you had to know which one to pick. You had to know how to do the entries. You had to know where the targets were. You had to know to watch to take these stocks to even know these were the top picks, know they were going to work. And you could have made $12,720 on the day. Now, if you cannot risk $600 on the trade, even if you risk $300 on each trade, you could have made over six grand on one day of trading. So that's fantastic. That's phenomenal. And it's all about knowing exactly what to train. It's about knowing exactly what to train and getting the entry. And that's the other thing about people that look to trend trade stocks or trade the same stock every day. They're, they don't have consistent setups. They don't have consistent entries. They don't consistently go to the target. One of the reasons that my system works so well for the risk to reward is that these stocks go to the targets. They go to, they go to the targets. Sometimes they go to dream targets. Why? Because the stock is gapping. The stock is actually gapping. Now, I put in here the information for these charts. I clipped them from today. Every one, every one of these ones from last week had followed through. What does that mean? It means that you could have actually taken swing trades in them too. You could have done the day trades, I day trade, or you could have done day trades and swing trades on multiple time frames. And why are these so powerful? Because they are golden gaps. They rate high according to the 26-point rating system. And I called it that because it's like finding gold in the market. Why? Because it spots institutional money. What is institutional money? It's where hedge funds, banks, big trading desks, institutions, funds are buying or selling or shorting stocks. They are made by the professionals, by professional money. That's why they have a high odds of working on the day in the correct direction of the gap with a large amount to move because they're made by power money, by institutional positioning. And that is why they go to the target. That's why they have these types of setups. That's why they set up so quickly in the morning. That's why you can make this kind of money on one day as a day trade if you trade the right pick because it's that stock on that particular day that that institution, that hedge fund, that bank is going to do something with. They're going to do something with that stock on that day, whatever it happens to be. They're going to buy it. They're going to sell it. They're going to short it. Okay. That's why it has such a high profitability for you as a trader. Because all you're looking to do is get in with the flow of that money that's going on in the stock. And that's why in most any given days of the market, there really isn't that same kind of setups and flow and flow to the targets because institutions aren't doing stuff every single solitary day in every single stock that they have a position in. They're just not doing that, okay? It's just not that way. So 
If you wanted to do a swing trade in these, just to hold them down for a couple of days to the next target, to the swing trade target, oh I, from the day that it gapped around 30 something, came down, and this is today, I don't know where it closed, but it broke 27.50. Broke 27.50, okay? So the stock actually had an even bigger move. You can see how it's continued down. This is the day of the gap, day two, day three, day four. It's been a short ever since. Nice follow through for a longer term trade. Adobe, same thing. Could have followed Adobe down to 66 from the day that it gapped at 68. Could have had a nice swing trade for a day or two or three in Adobe. The GIS, same thing again. Stock is continuing lower is about ready to continue to break. The second day it fell all the way down and almost got to 50 and is on its way down there next. Another one for a good pick for a swing trade. And Rax is going and falling to 30 bucks. And when Rax breaks $30 here, this thing's gonna fall off the planet. This is a big, big number for the stock and it's getting there. It's $1.50 away from there right now. Again, the entry here is the day of the gap though. You're late if you do it now. Gotta know how to trade these things. But this is a nice swing trade too. So you have to train your brain really to read these things, to read the charts, to read the price action. You're training your brain to read the price action. You get up every morning, you go through the points. I've trained my brain so well now that I can just look at something and say what it's going to do. Now, I still go through my own methodology, but people that trade with me, people in the room, listen to what I say every single morning. They listen to what I say in the room and hear my tone when I say that I see something and I like something or I say I have 100% conviction because I've trained my brain. My brain now just sees something and says, oh, there it is, okay? I'm doing this with the market, okay? That's how I know the market isn't breaking, okay? I've trained my brain to read price action over the course of the last six years by one methodology, which is reading gaps, which is the highest, most complex, advanced way to read charts. That's one of the reasons that my picks work so well each and every day. The most advanced method you could possibly ever conceive of to read price action is in gaps. It's not uh, higher highs and higher lows. It's not lower highs and lower high lows. It's not pivots. It's not moving averages. It's not any of those things. And if you've been trading and you are a trader, you know that those things don't work consistently. Gaps do have a consistent method to work. However, you have to know what to look for. And if you train your brain to know what to look for, you will be mapping out your actual pattern, the pattern in your head and your brain, you'll have mapped it out like I have where I could see it in my sleep, okay, when I see these things and know they're going to work. And that is the great thing about learning, okay? It's pattern recognition in the brain when you teach yourself something and where you learn something. The problem is that many, many people attempt to learn something. They try to learn something. They, they make an attempt, okay? But that thing maybe really isn't any good. And then as a result of the thing not working and they're not making money trading that thing that they're trying to learn, that method, whatever it is, a strategy, whatever, they get down and then they get depressed. And then that affects their brain. So then they don't want to work at learning it. And maybe they shouldn't even work at learning it because the thing doesn't work or they'd be profitable, okay? And so then that affects the brain as well. Our emotions affect our brain. Our bodies are magnificent things. They're actually amazing, amazing things. And our brains and our bodies can help us be successful as traders. I know this. I know this because I'm doing this for myself. And I'm teaching people how to do it as well. There is something in that when you teach your brain to do something. But it does have to work. But how do you know? Because you're going to do it and you're going to start to make money. And there's nothing like green or making money that actually will help your confidence level to be able to learn something. So the Golden Gap 26 point rating system trains your brain. It trains your brain to do it. And they're all different. That's why I have 26 points. And it helps you choose a direction correctly so you know whether to go long or short something. The right pick it's going to make or break it for you. It's going to absolutely 100% make or break your trading because if you pick the wrong thing in the day, you're going to miss a stock that goes and runs two, three dollars in the day that you could have made money on if you would have looked at the right pick and then you might have nothing else to do and then you're chasing something else to do or you try to buy that stock then that's falling because you're thinking you're going to buy it as a climactic or then you try to short it too late and then it rallies and then it's done for the day. 
it makes or breaks your trading. And unfortunately, trading is one of these things where the level of focus has to be so high that you need to know before you're getting into the market before 9.30 what you're doing. Because if you don't know before 9.30 what you're doing, then guess what? You're not going to know what to do then on the live day. Because you think you're going to think well right in the moment if you can't decide what to do when you're thinking about it for 30, 60 minutes when you're doing the analyzing? No. If there's nothing good before 9.30, chances are there's nothing good on the day to do. So you have to do the analysis before the market opens and make the decision what you're going to focus on for the day. Uh, Stephen P. Stephen P. has already signed up for the class. Stephen P. is a new student. He's asking me a question. He has not done the class yet. He's already signed up. He's new. Are you going to teach us to think like you in every way? Yes. With the exception of the fact that you don't live in my mind. <laughs> Stephen P. <laughs> But I think that taking the class is a window into my mind. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> Steven. And if anyone else has any other questions, you can write them in there as well. Having the right pick versus not having it is really like, it's like black or white. It's like black or white. It's like night or day. I realized this a long time ago. A long time ago, because I would get up in the morning and then I would like something and I'd have a great morning. I'd have a great morning, I'd have my money in by 10 o'clock, and I'd just be so happy. And then the days I wouldn't get the pick right, I'd be scrambling for something to do, or my first trade would lose, and I'd be jumping from thing to thing, and I'd be a stressed out maniac. And I realized very early on that the right thing was to pick what to do way before 9.30, so that I'd have 100% focus, know what I'm looking for, and get the right one every day. And that it made a difference. It made a difference in how much money I made. It made a difference of whether or not I made money or lost it. Okay? And when you're starting out at the beginning of any venture, whether it's a new strategy or trading the market all together, you want to start out on the right foot. You want to give yourself the best chance you can for success. You want to put your best foot forward, so to speak, okay, when you're trading. And so that's how you have to think of it. I get up every morning, I put my best foot forward for the top pick, looking for the main pick, looking for my number one pick. I put my best foot forward into the market every day with everything I got to trade, and I attack it like nobody's business, okay? How am I able to do that with the risk, with the level of conviction, is because I have a method that I have worked on that took me over three years to figure out that now I've been trading for years that I know directs me to do the pick. So I have conviction in, in, in my rating system. So then I take the trade. And I take the trade then fearlessly. Because that's how you need to trade. You're trading the market if you're in fear that you're not going to be successful. I can tell when I talk to people and I hear their stories and I get it. But you have to get over some of that. Remember what I was saying about the brain and stress on the brain. It's important to have the right pick, not just to, to make the money it's important to have the right pick so you don't become stressed out. If you trade in the morning and then go into another job and you lose in the trades that you do in the morning and then you have to go to another job, can you? your day starts stressed, okay? Your day starts out stressed. If you are not going to another job and your trading is your full-time job and you start out the day losing or, or not making money, you're still going to be stressed the rest of the day. Why? Because you're going to fight to get back to break even then the rest of the day to try to get back the money you lost when you traded for the first trade. And you're a stressed out maniac. Okay? Or maybe you don't want to refund your account. Maybe you've been losing you can't take it anymore. And then you're stressed. So it really helps to have the right pick so that trading isn't stressful for you. Trading isn't stressful for me anymore. And I have been doing this for six years. But six years in the lifetime of a trader is actually not that long. It's actually not that long, okay? It's the confidence and conviction that I have in the choices that I make that allows me to trade in a non-stressed pattern. And that is why I don't trade when there isn't anything that meets my criteria as well. If you are doing something where you're risking money, and if you're doing something actually with money at all, I don't care what your job is, anything you're doing with money, if you're investing other people's money, if you're investing your own money, if you're making choices about money, let's say you run a business, you run your own business and you have to make decisions, do we spend money on this today or that today or this advertising or paying our employees or whatever it is, you are making decisions that have to do with money. If you are not in a balanced state in your mind, if you are stressed out, you are not going to make the right decisions about money. Okay. 
So in reference to trading, if you want to make the right decisions about your choices, how much money you're risking on the trade, and the choices you have, you're taking the pick of the trade, you need to put your brain at a level where you're not stressed out. Otherwise, you're not going to make the right choices. People say all the time, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I did that. And the worst thing people do is then they take a trade in something. They're down in it. They hold it overnight. I'm sure one of the reasons racks is continuing lower is some people really insisted that racks was a buy. I know traders thought that racks was a buy. And they probably were in the trade and were down in it and thought it would hold or thought it was a buy and maybe held it overnight as a long. And then it, it ended up continuing lower the next day and the next day and the next day. And guess what? It's still lower. And eventually then that person, that trader, had to stick it out and take the loss. But it's a bigger loss now than it was if he would have just got out of it the day that he took it in the wrong direction, if he had known what to do. So it's very important. It's imperative for you to be a successful trader to actually not be in a stressful place mentally. Uh, your brain has to be completely uh, in a place where you're going to absorb information, make the right choices about money and risk, and make the right choices about the picks. And I found that being prepared before the open allows me to do that. The stress is not then in that live moment to have to flip from thing to thing to thing to strategy to this to that to not know what to do. I know what I'm watching. I know what I like. Either it sets up or it doesn't. And that's how I do it. So it's really about the brain. It's about the brain. It's, it's your brain and you are going to train it. And you come to someone like me and learn my method. I'm helping to train your brain. That's what I'm doing when you take my class. I'm training your brain to read charts like I do, just like Stephen asked me, which he's going to learn in the class this weekend. If you're relying on some machine system, you're not on the right path. I know everyone loves machines, and they, a bell goes off to take it here, and another bell goes off to get out of it there. Uh, machines are not reliable. They're programmed by people anyways, okay? And they're is nothing like you utilizing your own brain to make decisions above and beyond a machine. The only reason that people lean on machines is because they take, they think it feel like it takes emotion out of what they're doing. But there's still emotion involved in the trade if you lose. Even if the machine tells you to take it and it loses, you'll still be emotional about the loss or the gain. Okay? People just like machines because they feel like it gives them direction. They feel like it gives them conviction. You don't need a machine. You need yourself. You need a method. You need your own brain to do it. You need the smarts that you got. And you have to use them. You're going to train yourself how to do it. And then you're going to be in a place where you're going to be able to make the best decisions you can for your trades. Because a machine isn't going to know exactly when something isn't going to work. And a machine is also not going to know when something's going to go to the dream target like I might. Okay? So it's you. You alone are the one that can do it. And you just got to get the confidence and conviction and a method to be able to train it yourself without without direction from a machine. The direction is the system. The direction is the reading system. It's about learning something and doing it. You learn it and you do it. You got to trade. If you're going to learn it, you have to do it. The more often you make money on a consistent basis, the more confidence you will build in yourself and the more conviction you will have in your own ability to trade well. I cannot tell you what this means for you. If you talk to some of the people that have been with me now for more than a year, these people are confident traders. It's it's exciting, okay? They they did it. I taught them how to do it, but they're doing it, okay? One of the most valuable things that you learn during the Golden Gap course is to have conviction, the Golden Gap strategy, and have confidence in yourself. This conviction will help you produce positive results, and you must produce positive results if you're going to continue to train. Otherwise, you're better off doing something else with your money or your time. Stay positive might be a challenge for some traders, but it is a requirement for success, and you must do it. This is a requirement for anyone that wants to trade the market because a lot of people want to. A lot of people want to trade the market. A lot of people are not going to make it successfully. A lot of people are going to lose. And if you want to make it, then you have to stay positive. And I'm telling you, there's nothing like cash that keeps you up. When the chips are down and you have a bad day in the market and things aren't going well, and then you have a slew of two weeks in a row where you're getting everything right, there is nothing like real money and doing it to bring your confidence level up, okay? There's nothing like profits to help your confidence. Nothing! And there is no such thing as being too confident. There is no such thing as having too much conviction. There is no such thing, okay? You are going to need it. You're going to need it to train because some days things aren't going to work out. And the next day you're going to get up and get back on that horse. And if you do, you're going to make it, okay? So you've got to have confidence and conviction in something that you're doing, a system, a system to follow, 
So stop drowning in like this analysis. People want to do this analysis. They want to read the earnings reports. They want to read all this stuff. It's a waste of time. Why? Because the institutions are doing it. You don't need to. I'm looking at the price. The institutions are doing with their money in the market. I can tell that from my rating system and the gaps. I don't have to read anything that anything is doing or doing any analysis. Why? Because the institutions are doing it for me. Easy. I don't have to worry about that. They're doing it. I know they're doing it. I know they're doing it because they told me they're doing it. And I knew they were doing it anyways. Okay? You use one simple method, which is price action. It's about the price action, the price action which is telling you. Now, I put a testimonial here because so many people ask me for testimonials. I thought I'd put it in the webinar. This is from David. David actually has a lot of huge background here, a huge investment background. And I don't remember how David found me, but David's done the classes, been training with me. He said he's been a financial advisor for over 20 years and a trader of everything from stocks to futures to options for six years. I will tell you without question, Melissa's short selling system is by far the most profitable, consistent, and easy to fall system I have ever seen. The best part is that you can trade the first hour of the market and you are done. Melissa's passion and depth are, as a person makes it even that much more fun and personally rewarding. That was nice. Thank you, David. I was from David Ray's, and the point he was making about the system being easy to follow, I think, is very significant for people if they are struggling, or if they are new, or if they're doing something that's losing. People want to learn something that's easy to follow. You just rate it. It either makes the cut or it doesn't. If it doesn't, you don't trade it. And if it does, then you do. And that's it. Then it's a pick. Then you watch the pick, like OI, like GIS, like Adobe, like Rax. You just follow it. You got to learn it though, okay? And then once you do the pattern recognition in your brain, is going to be there. And then all of a sudden, you're going to look back a year from now, you're going to say, I'm glad I know how to do this. And then six years from now, you're going to be like me. So the class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches the strategy and how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26 point rating system to find the best stock to trade each and every day. The course also teaches you what direction to trade the stock of the day. The course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. And the purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using that 26-point checklist. The checklist helps you choose the best pick each day for profits because that is why you're trading. You're trading to win. You have to think of yourself as a winner. And it's hard to think of yourself as a winner if you're losing. I know that. I know that. I talk to people. I get it. I would say if someone would say to me, what's the, how did you make it, Melissa? What was the number one factor that you had above all else that helped you to figure out the stuff in the market at the beginning when you were losing, which I was when I started out, just like everyone does. And I didn't have someone like me to go to, and I wished I did. I wished I had a training room to go to that focused on one thing every day. But I did it, okay? So I'm offering this to people now. It's not a forever thing, though. I'm doing this now at this point in my life. I'm young. I'm not going to be doing this 20 years from now. But, you know, at the beginning when I started out, I am a very confident person overall, and I believed in myself. So if you're at this place with your trading and you are struggling, believe in yourself, okay? It'll lead you to someone like me. It'll, it'll, it'll lead you to someone like me in the middle of a place where there's a sea of people out there that are educators teaching stuff all over the place. Some is good, some is bad, some is whatever, okay? You will be led to the right person that's going to help you be successful if you believe that you can do it, if you believe in yourself. I will spend time with people that are positive and that want to do it and motivate it. And I won't spend one second with people that are negative Nellies, okay? If you're positive and you want to learn how to do it, I can mentor you to be successful, okay? Negative people aren't going to make it. There's too many people scrambling to get up the gate in the success of the market, all right? So keep this in mind. And when the chips are down, you got to believe in yourself. And this is the one thing that I had going for me and enabled me really to make it, okay? Because I knew that I could figure this out. I knew I could. And so I did. The one other thing people ask me is the prep time to rate gaps. It doesn't take that long. Five minutes at the most for one. Less than five if you're good and you've been doing it for a while. But it really doesn't take that long. And in the live trading room, I do it. I do it myself every day. I go through this process myself. Every day, I still go through them. And I put the points in the room for people that want them, and I put the targets in resistance. You must take the live class to join my trading room. I have people that come to me, and they want to join the room without taking the class. Everyone in the room has done the class, and I don't make exceptions for people. Why? Because you got to train yourself how to do it. And I'm also not going to be doing this forever, so you need to learn. You need to learn how to do it without me, okay? And you can. You can take the class and learn everything you need in the class to trade without me. 
So empower yourself to trade. You can trade the market successfully if it's something that you really want to do. If this is a dream, a passion of yours, it was a dream of mine, uh, you can do it. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. What does that mean? It means you can take the class, and if you want to retake in the future, you can. The class is also online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it, which is actually great because you can sit at home and take it from your computer. The class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, September 27th and 28th, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $29.99. If you're interested in signing up, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I also teach another class. This is about longer term trends. It's called the Trends Course. This is next week, October 1st and 2nd, from 12 to 4. Cost of this class is $9.99. It's a course on how to read trends and stock charts. So this is very interesting because if you're looking to do swing trades or longer term trades, uh, you can do them in this Trends class. The total package savings, I'm doing a special. If you want to take the Trends and the Golden Gap class this month, you can save almost $500, bucks, 4 dollars So you can do both classes for $34.99, which is the Golden Gap class, which is Saturday and Sunday this weekend, and the Trends class, which is next week from 12 to 4 on Wednesday and Thursday. It's a good deal because you can save $4.99 and do both of them if you want to do the swing trading and the actual day trading too. I'm running a special. For anyone that wants to sign up early, the early bird special runs through tomorrow. Deadline's tomorrow, the 23rd at midnight. Anyone that signs up by tomorrow, by the end of the day tomorrow, will receive the Wealth Manifestation class for free. This class normally costs $399. Anyone that just signs up for the GAP class this weekend is going to get this class for free if they sign up by tomorrow, by midnight. This is a great class, by the way. It's nothing to do with charts. It's all about uh, your mentality, how you feel about motions, about money, about the brain. It's a great class. And anybody that wants, knows they want to do the class this week in the GAP class, if you sign up by tomorrow, you'll get that class for free. It's a good one. So if you want to do the special and the early bird, you're actually going to save $898 because you can do the GAP class, the trends class, and get the wealth class for free. And you save almost $900. Bucks. So that's the promo for September to get everybody ramped up to get into fall trading and earnings season. You can have the life you want and the market can give it to you. you. Whatever it is, whatever it is. Why? Because there's a sea of money in the market. There's so many people that want to trade it. A lot of people will never be successful for some of the reasons that I discussed today. And you have to have the right strategy and the right focus every day you go into the market. You have to have the right attitude and you have to have the right level of conviction and confidence in yourself. Fall is a great time to trade. Today's the first day of fall. Happy fall to everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any questions here at all? I did answer some of the questions earlier. Does anyone else have any questions about anything? Anyone interested specifically about gaps or anything I said today? Karen's putting the information in the room. And here's my email again. Oops. Any question? Oh, you don't need you don't need to bring anything, Stephen. I'll email you later this week about those questions. <laughs> You're so funny. What is a success rate? Do you mean of the picks of of the students? What do you mean, Eugene? Are you talking about the picks? I'm going to be conservative here and say somewhere between seventy and eighty percent. That means of the picks, I'm talking about the picks, meaning that between 70 and 80 percent of my picks work as day trades. On a higher level for overnights for swing trades, I've found that actually it's higher than that. But I'm not actually taking overnights, but I've been tracking them. I've been tracking them for about a year and a half now, just like the ones I showed you here today. So in a longer term picture, actually it has a very high rate of success. But as a day trades, I say between 70 and 80. Now. I don't know what it is, but it does seem to be that the longer that I train, that that rate is going up. So I'd have to say probably you should even talk to a student of mine and I can send you a referral. I know in the last two months, my success rate is over 80% because I can tell when I get up in the morning and I look at my account. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what the answer is. Sometimes I'm on a roll, Eugene. 
sometimes I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll right now. I'm like on a roll. Like I'm just nailing it every day. Last week, I think I did a play of the day email every week. I think I did one the week before. I, you know, it's, I don't know. A lot of it has to do with what I get from the market. And if I get a lot of good stuff from the market and I'm on a roll, I just nail it. So, you know, overall, I'd say from January to December, somewhere between 70 and 80. In the last two months, though, you know, it's way higher than that. But I'd have you talk to a student to find out. I think over time you get better. I, I know because I am. I'm better now than I was a year ago. I'm better now than I was six months ago. I'm probably better now than I was 30 days ago as a trader. I don't know what to say. That's what you have to look forward to. Over time you'll get better. Do you need to be near the computer? Do you need to be near the computer? Meaning you have to be near the computer to take the train. Then you have to be near the computer to exit the train unless you just put a one cancels all order out, nimble trader with the stop and the exit. You have to take the train. You have to be at the computer to take the train. If you want to take it, get in it, put the stop in, and then actually put an exit order out. Like you would have to have that actually in your platform, nimble trader, meaning like. You take the trade. Let's say you take the trade, you shorted at 52. You put the stop at 5220 to get you out. And then you also put a one cancels all order thing where you would take you out if it hit 51. And then you could walk away. But you couldn't put the stop in, walk away. How else will you get out? You have to come back to get out unless your platform can let you do that. And there are some platforms that let you do that, Nimble Trader. So you'd have to ask your platform person. Hey there, Peter. How are you? Yep, I'm going to meet Peter live tomorrow. Peter is actually coming to New York to meet me in person. I will see you tomorrow, Peter. Peter's new. And if anyone wants uh, a trial of the training room, you can email me. If anyone wants to speak to some clients, you can email me. I, I uh, People are willing to talk to people. I just wouldn't, uh, you know, what is that? Do I have a favorite broker? Or software package. I don't. I don't really have a favorite anything. I can refer you to a couple of different places for you to check out yourself. I think people need to pick their own brokers because everybody's used to certain platforms. And then, you know, if you can do this system with anything. We have a live active level two with charts. So I'll refer you to a couple of places. You can check them out yourself. I was just gonna say something. I forget what I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know. Philip was in here earlier. I don't know if he's still in here. Someone was asking about the percentage of success rate. He can say that lately just things have been so great. So I think that you you really have to be at a place where you want to do this. You're excited about doing it. You start making money. It builds on itself. That's pretty much the groove I'm in now. I'm very happy with my life. I'm done working every day at 11 o'clock. There, Philip just said very good rate. And I live in Manhattan. And I love my life. So, you know, talking about brain, how your brain works and everything's happening with yourself. If you're an unhappy person, you're going to struggle. If you're a happy person and your life is balanced and happy, you're going to have a better chance of success. <laughs> Philip says, a student, Melissa, I can tell you she's good and you're lucky to be able to meet her. <laughs> Philip, you, you met me already. Anyway, I never met such an enthusiastic and passionate mentor like you. Thanks, Eugene. How can I not be enthusiastic? I'll say one more thing and let everybody go. Go to my Facebook page. Look at the pictures of New York, of, of, of everything in my surroundings. When I get up in the morning, the city is at my feet. How can I not be passionate about what I do and successful? The market brought me to this place in my life. Otherwise, I'd still be doing mortgages, working seven days a week, okay? You know, I worked hard to get here, and now I'm here. And I know how to do it. You can do it, but you got to learn how. And you got to keep your uh, motivation and positive energy up. It's in my voice. I am. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm busy because I do actually like to do other things besides work in New York. <laughs> I like to have a life. <laughs> <laughs>
My life starts after the trading. All right, have a good day, everyone. All right, thanks for coming, everyone.